Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Now, I am currently driving through the city of Tuskegee, Alabama. Now, I meant to start this video off somewhere else, but the GPS was, was acting up, so I'm going to just start right here for the sake of getting this video of Tuskegee, Alabama done. I mean, in another couple of hours, it's going to get dark, so I want to make good use of my time here. Try to get out of the sun. All right, folks. Uh, Tuskegee, Alabama. Well, another name for this city. Personally, I call it a museum city because there is. I mean, I would say for almost every piece of history that you can think of that deals with Alabama or African Americans or the city of Tuskegee itself, you will find a museum that caters to that piece of history. I mean, I started listing the museums that were here in Tuskegee. And then I discovered that there are so many museums in this city that I just quit writing it all down. Now, as you guys can see, uh, this city does have its issues. I mean, sadly, this is a heavily impoverished city. However, and this is the weird thing. I mean, Tuskegee, Alabama, of course, is the home of Tuskegee University, which is a which is a African American college. Now, me personally, I do see plenty of potential in this city. Now, I know there's a lot of people that may have written off this city some time ago and decided, you know what, it is what it is. It's over for this city and kept it moving. And for those of you that may have done that, I mean, truthfully, I can't blame you. But I'm going to also say that I see a lot of potential for this city. I mean, this is a relatively small city. Their population density is nice and low, like it is in most cities in Alabama. And given that this is, and, and given that this city is in southeast, well, it's in East Alabama. So given that this city is located in, in Alabama, the climate here, of course, is going to be half decent. So I do, see, I mean, you know, I do see potential for this city. I mean, I would say for this city, if it had, let's say, some better leadership, and I would also say if some of the locals who lived in this community had a better attitude about like a better attitude about life maybe a little bit more pride in this community then this city would definitely do far better And I say all this also because, 
I mean, this city, I mean, Tuskegee is only 30 minutes away from Montgomery. It's a little less than an hour to Columbus, Georgia. It's only a half hour away from Opelika. And it's only 30 minutes away from Auburn, which is a college community here in eastern Alabama. Which is a good sized city, by the way. Now, the population here is 8,026 people. And sadly, the city has been losing population at a rate of 13% as of the 2020 census. The population density, the population density is only 498 people. So, and again, a lot of these houses do come with a decent sized lot. And plus you're living, and plus you're here in Alabama. So like, like, you're, like if you were to live here in Tuskegee, you're, you know, you're close to Montgomery. You're only an hour outside Columbus, Georgia. And you're only a half hour from Opelika or Auburn. Now, the median home price here is, look at my notes here. I don't know if I even wrote it down. Yeah, the, the median home price here is only $79,000. Now, I would say if you wanted to buy something in this city that was decent, when I say decent, I'm talking about a decent neighborhood and the house itself is in decent condition, then... Uh, I wouldn't look at anything for much lower than a hundred thousand. Now, I'm going to assume that I'm driving through the lower end part of Tuskegee. I mean, yeah, I'm going to assume I'm driving through the lower end part of Tuskegee. Or at least I was. I'm going to go down West Montgomery Road here and just, you know, just wherever I feel like driving into, I'm going to drive into. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's parts of Tuskegee that are far nicer than the, part of, than the area that I just came out of. So... This is serve this city some fair justice on my channel. I'm gonna locate a area in this city that's a little better kept. Now, Tuskegee is one of those type of cities, you know, kind of like Gary, Indiana, except a lot smaller, to where it's easy for a content creator to come through and and drive through the worst parts of the city and then do a hoodie video, which there ain't nothing wrong with that. But once again, I mean, Tuskegee, Alabama has a lot of history to it. And there's a lot more to this city than just a bunch of ran down neighborhoods. So if you're ever in Eastern Alabama, or for those of you that might be attending college in Auburn or Opelika, I mean, whenever you get a chance, come down here to Tuskegee and go to some of these museums that are here in Tuskegee. Now, if you're a history buff and you want to learn some 
good old southern history uh, definitely come down here to Tuskegee Now this city, of course, does have its fair share of issues when it comes to crime as well. But like I said, I believe that this city does have potential. It just needs to, uh, the power structure of this city, in my opinion, just needs to be in the hands of some people that care about this city. And the people who live in this city, if you're watching this video, if you're, I mean, if you're watching this, this video, I'm not trying to get too political here, but. The next time you get a chance to vote for your local politicians here in uh, here in Tuskegee, over which, by the way, is located in Macon County here in Alabama, you might want to take a closer look at the people who you're voting for. It's a little dark. Just gonna let that up for you folks. Like as I drive through the city, I can't help but to notice all this garbage and litter all over the place, which I'm going to say this until pigs fly. It does not take you know, some of these properties, some more back up here. Yeah, like I was saying, it does not take any amount of money to simply pick up after yourself. Or if you got some garbage, rather than throwing it out your car window or throwing it on the ground, hold on to it until you get to a garbage camp.
I'm gonna go on Martin Luther King Highway here, which I'm assuming it's which is gonna be one of the streets where you'll find a few uh, restaurants. We're gonna, oh, I missed it. Okay. And I am now driving through downtown Tuskegee. This is where I was wanting to start my video at, but my GPS device was acting up. So it is what it is. Now you do? Okay, well this city does have a Piggly Wiggly for grocery shopping. And as far as amenities go, if you need to go somewhere that has more and better amenities than what you'll find here in Tuskegee, then you can drive a half hour into Opelika, or you can drive into Auburn. I mean, I will, I mean, the downtown is a decent, well, it's a, I mean, it's a decent downtown, I would say here. I mean, yeah, you do got some vacancies, but it's a, it's a nice straight to the point, real laid out downtown. This is where you'll find most of your restaurants and shopping and, and grocery needs and all that type of stuff is on, let's see, I think this is Martin Luther King. Yeah, th yeah this is Martin Luther King Highway. down here. Yeah, nothing here. At least I don't see nothing. There's a house over there. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of open land in this city too, I noticed. There's a lot of open land. Do a couple of small houses. Yeah, that's a dead end over there, so we're going to kill this way.
there's a lot of dead end streets in this city too. At least on this side of town, there's a lot of dead end streets. I mean, some of these houses don't look too bad. But then when you look at the general area, I mean, I don't know, it's pretty sad, I'll be honest. Looks like you have an old uh, rec center. It's been abandoned for some time, obviously. Well, we're in the sun again, so I'm going to turn around and get you guys about the sun. As you guys notice, a lot of these houses have bars on the window. And I've already mentioned several times what I think when I see a bunch of houses with bars on the window. Those bars are not up for decoration. In most cases, they're not up for decoration. Okay, let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, so I'll keep it going straight. But yeah, I gotta say, almost everywhere I've driven, I see, you know, and oh, here's some houses that look nice. They're on the other side of the road. Keep going down the street here.
I was going to show you some houses I saw that looked nice, but if I do that, then the sun will be back in, in the camera. some houses that look nice only if more people in this city can get on board of these people and have a little bit more pride in their uh, dwelling and pride in the community at large so that's what I'm talking about right there Alright folks, I'm getting close to my half hour mark. I'm just gonna just keep on riding until the camera cuts me off. So I'm gonna thank everybody for tuning in to another video of Andrew's life. Y'all know what to do. And I appreciate it and thank everything that you guys that you guys have done for my channel by subscribing leaving thumbs up, leaving comments below. And I will be doing a second video of this city. Most likely I will. Thank you.